Hey everybody, welcome into this new video from Canva. In today's tutorial, let's take a look how we can create mockups here into Canva so you can uh, enhance your selling products or if you're willing to make some digital arts or if you want something to have a look like on how it's going to be looking on, on your iPhone or on an iPad on a computer uh, or a desktop. So as you can see, I'm already into Canva.com. You don't have to necessarily have the Canva Pro thing here, the extension, but just in case if you want to take a look, if you want to try this Canva Pro, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so you can have a seven day free trial of a Canva Pro, which you will be having much more tools to be working with. Now, in my case, I do have the Canva Pro, but in this tutorial, I'm going to be using only free templates, only free tools. So, so you can do all the things that I'm doing here into this tutorial, right? So the first thing is to try to figure out what kind of design we want to create. So whether you want to create something for your social media, something for your platforms, something for your website or something just basically for you. So for example, here we have some Instagram stories. We have a poster, we have yeah, different stories here, a full document. Uh, these are like different templates that we can use for creating our mockups. So specifically, what is a mockup actually? So if I go into Google and I tap mockup, what's going to be appearing here, it's something like this. It's a design, it's a pre-design that is pre-already created. So you just need to uh, import, well, that will be your logo, your image, or whatever option you want to choose. So in here, let's say this is the right example. This is a mockup. So this is the logo where you can just import your logo or your image and it will be just uh, dragged into the images. So can we do this into Canva or not? Well, into the free version, uh, it's going to be a little bit complicated where we can do that. So if you go down into Google once again, you can download some mockups. So you can uh, select, for example, these mockup images. And in here, what you guys want to do is to select the mockup you want to download out, for example, this one. And in here, I'm going to choose download. So there's an attribution required. I'm going to use, you have two options. It would be from ESD or GPG. If I choose the GPG section, it's going to be downloading here the mockup. And if I go back into Canva and try to import that design into let's just start just something real quick and I'm going to choose uploads. I'm going to go into upload files and I'm going to choose my image, right? So this is my mockup, but actually it's not a mockup per se because it's only downloaded as an image. If I want to move something from this image, from this different items, it just won't let me because I download that all as an images. So for example, I don't know about this page. I just randomly picked that. But if you choose to download out that as a PSD file, when I import this photo, when I import this project into Photoshop, actually, it's not going to import the only the image It's going to import the whole process of the T-shirt of the mockup, right? So if I clicked here, we have the edition, we have the T-shirt back here is a design. Uh, I'm going to scroll down. Here's, here's the design, right? So if I delete this, so if I choose to delete this item, if this, I can just go into my download. For example, I'm going to choose a background. I'm going to choose just something that I just created a few seconds ago, which is this logo. And I'm going to import that in here. I'm going to hit into play. And as you can see, my item, what, what I just did here at the project is that it was successfully imported into this into this project, right? So if you are using Photoshop, it would be just as easy as to drag your image, your logo, and put it right in there. Well, we are not into Photoshop, we are into Canva. So can we do this into Canva? Let's take a look if we can do this. And here, as you can see, this is the first um, problem that we're going to be leading with here into Canva. If you have your logo created in Canva, you need to download this file as a PNG file in, in order to remove your background. So once again, if you have your Canva Pro, you can go into download and go into transparent background. But as you can see, this 
uh, this little crown that says this, this is only available for the Canva Pro. So if you don't have Canva Pro, if you want to do this totally for free, what you can do is to download out this image as a PNG file. This will obviously will be allowed for, to free users. Go into download. And now what you want to do is to tap a new uh, tab here. And I'm going to tap into Google a background remover. And let's see if there's something that I can use only for making this uh, work, right? So I'm into remove.bg. Uh, I'm going to choose pricing. I'm going to see if there's something that I can do totally for free. It says with a free account, you have access to one free credit. Uh, I'm assuming that maybe these credits are like one picture at a time. So if you want to sign up totally for free, you can do that. And in here, I'm going to go into the remove background. I'm going to upload my image, which is this one. And the background has been already removed. So I just need to download my image. And as you can see, here it is. Now, if you want to make more than just one, well, we would have to look for more examples, right? But in this case, we now have our first um, item, our logo without the background, right? Now, what we want to do is to go back into the dashboard of Canva and try to create a pasta or I'm going to choose a Instagram post because I'm going to create a post, a mockup post for my item, right? So now what I want to do is to get into templates and look for the keyword mockup. So as you can see, there are a lot of stuff that we can choose Unfortunately, these are pro versions. So I'm going to go back into my uploads. I'm going to upload my star LTD file. I want to have this just the background because I'm going to make this to import that because I want to have like a background and I just need to drag my image until it looks like this. Now I'm going to do that once again into the laptop. Now I'm going to do that once again into the other smartphone. So if I want to edit that, I can choose crop. And as you can see, I can move my image like something like this and go and see. OK, so this is a, a markup that we just did totally for free. We didn't have to do absolutely anything, but just drag and drop. Right. It was pretty, pretty simple. Now let's try with something else. Let's try to create something like, for example, an item. We want to create something like this or I can just import here my logo. I'm going to make this a little bit more smaller so I can zoom this and have just more quality. Go into edit the image and choose smart mockups. I'm going to choose t-shirt. And there we go. We can choose different mockups. I'm going to zoom this. I'm going to crop this just a little bit, something like this. Uh, as you can see, it looks pretty well. My logo is looking so great here into Canva. And um, this is not a uh, pro version because this is not having the, the crown, right? And if I'm okay with the result, I can go into the share section, right? So once again, I click into the logo, just drag and drop, go into the edit my image, choose a smart mockup. And once again, I'm going to choose, for example, now a hoodie, right? Now in here, we have the person, the mockup, and there we go. I just need to zoom this a little bit like this. And if I want to make this a little bit more cinematic, for example, I'm going to just add these black lines and go into share, download, and we are good to go. So there you have it, guys. Actually, this Canva free version of mockups really impressed me. Now we can do a lot of stuff in here into Canva. It's really worthy, actually, to try this Canva Pro, and it's really cheap. So uh, once again, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description, guys, so you want to check it out here, this Canva Pro, so you have much more amazing tools here on, to use on Canva. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about this Canva designs. And hopefully, guys, I'll see you next time.